I do believe we have arrived at our next stop. But I don't see Flora, Professor. Where could she be? Hi, you two. I'm glad you're finally awake. Flora, where did you run off to? I'm sorry, but the train car was so stuffy. The only we stopped, I went outside for some air. You went out all alone? Are you crazy? It's dangerous to go out there. Who knows what kind of crews could be lurking around? Oh, I'll be more careful from now on. I just don't look at the over so I must treat a lady with kindness and respect. Now, so we're all back together. So why don't we get off this train and see where we are? A ticket with no destination. The ticket was uh, for those headed to Folsons. A destination uh, accessible only to those riding in a particular car on a military express. We see the doctor trainer must have visited Folsons sometime before his death. Apparently. Gives me goosebumps. Yes, I'd second that. I'm sticking close to you too. Oh, these must be pictures of the town. Indeed, and old ones from the look of it. Judging by their condition, I'd say they're at least 30 years old. Wow! How do you know? Oh, that's right, you're an archaeologist. Of course you know. Now, Luke, don't tell me you actually forgot. Well, we'd best press on. Damn. Let's go. Oh. oh my. What is going on here? I don't know, but it's strange. Hmm, Forsen Station? The Dilapidated Station. Minnesota Vestalates and Luke and Flora us arrive on the sun. They run down the train station, front zone to the gleaming ordinary decorated burning red right before their eyes. What, what caused a sudden change to the station appearance? Following rumors of the Elysian box, the Professor, Luke, and Flora set foot in a strange town. But cautious as they were, nothing could have prepared them for the events to follow. Let's hear a progress. Chapter 4, The Phantom Town of Falsons. So this is the Phantom Town we heard about, huh? It's like something for a horror novel. I find a place in Sunning too, but we mustn't let that keep us for our investigation. There's also kind of valuable information we might find here about the Elysian box. Professor Luke and Flora decided to walk around the town. Hmm. A funny running into here. Hello there, how all of that? Hey, you're the mailman. Yep, I got mail to deliver here, but it's so dark that it always takes forever. No wonder that people always seem uh, so on edge here. Well, that's other ways I need to bring a little sunshine into everyone with life. Everyone with life of mail. Jesus Christ! Well, oh, you deliver mail uh, all, all the way out right here. Jesus Christ! Now, sure, I got a schedule to keep while doing it. So on that note, I'll be off. See you around. It would seem our friend the postman works a very, very wide area of mail delivery. Really, but how does they do two rides every single day? Unless he has someone in a jetpack, that's just impossible. You may think so, Luke, but our world is full of implacable phenomena, but this is just one of many. I guess so, but it still seems pretty much impossible to me.
Oof. Are you alright, Flora? You don't look well. I'm not sure, I just started feeling sick all of a sudden. You're spilled as a sheet. We'll find a way we'll find a place for you to rest straight away. Hmm, I don't see no dolls around. If there were, you'd think there'd be a sign or something. If I don't like advertising, I'd say you want to build a Darius Hotel. The Professor, Luke and Flora decide to seek out the hotel. Where's the hotel? Oh god. In front of the town, town train station, there are four buildings. Tanger, one of these four is supposedly the local hotel. You wouldn't like to sign, even, even so, if you, if you study the area uh, cavalry, you'll see the hotel. which of the business buildings is the hotel. That's it, Dean. Hmm. Let's see if this works. Nope. Then I'm supposed to get his B. Looks like I botched that one. Just leave it to me. Let's see them because that's two doors. <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. Maybe the hotel the owner has like a door to his own little apartment and then the other door is like for the hotel itself. Might be. Hmm. Let's see if this works. That was almost too easy. Alright, the windows and doors about the bone of C spell out the word hotel oh, for fuck's sake. How are you doing Flora? Any better? A little bit, I think we'll let it rest as you way back to my old self. Flora, Luke and I are going to uh going back out to learn more about the town. Why don't you stay here for a while and rest up? Yes, take it easy for a while, Flora. We'll be back before long. Thanks, Luke. Be careful out there. You too, Professor. Do you think Flora is going to be alright? I'm not too much, Luke. She may just be exhausted from a long journey. I think uh, our best course of action now is to gather what information we can hurry back to the hotel. I'll tell you, don't never keep the lady waiting. We're still looking to for a strange new town. A strange new town. Sorry. Doing so, I do hope the young lady traveling you feels better soon. Having in order, having I've seen, least we do believe the doctor tried to visit at Folsom's. You leave some books, and in fact, we need to solve this death for close by, I'm sure of it. Do you think whoever stole the Legion books might be hiding as well? It's early to tell. Um, we don't know if we can figure out why Dr. Tread ventured out to this play to this in the first place. Let's hear about halfway through the story. We're now in chapter four, and there's like five, six, and seven still, so. For now, our best kind of action is to search for anything connected to Legion Box. Let's get to it then. Lead the way, Professor. No, God, Sam, it's here in town. I can guarantee that. You have to scare everything into this place and bring it back to me at once. Got it? Oh, I come on, go. Do you really think it's over? It's everything people say it is? I don't know. This kind of sounds like a lot of ba baloney to me. All my ears playing tricks to me. I could have sworn you just told me that my information was wrong. You're in no position to lecture me on the subject. Now get out there and start looking. Jesus. Okay, okay, no need, no need to blow away a gasket, I'm going. What do you think, Mr. Blue Guy and the train conductor we're talking about, Professor? It depends on the, that they're on a hunt for something too. Oh, look over there, Professor, what could that be?
It's some very strange book. Uh, perhaps someone dropped it while running about town. Yikes, go look this crazy cover. Uh, what's the symbol on it? Let's have a look. The symbol seems to be the shape of a goat. No, it is. It gives me the willies. But I do wonder what's written inside. I'd say the book looked up tight as it is, isn't it? Still, this symbol is very intriguing. Tell us, sir. May maybe somebody in the antique shop over there can tell us something about it. Excellent idea, Luke. Let's begin our investigation there. The other option has been added to the trunk. Luke has search. But Lucas is working Sammy like a dog, sending him all over the town for a frantic search for some unknown item. It's unclear why Beluga would set up a secret train connected to Folsons, but it's clear this item is very important to him. What could it be? Wester and Luke set to visit the local tea shop. Oh my! In fact, tell me, where did he come from? Hmm, do the words right up my mouth, lady. Well, I expect to see you two in a place like this. Lots of you during the dropster, I was able to deduce that this town and the Legion box are linked. The trade that stopped out quite a stack of research in the Legion box. The criminal I'm in pursuit of I killed the doctor to get his hands on the box. So instead of chasing down a man, I decided to chase the box. When I find it, I find the culprit. Well, that's a solid bit of reasoning there. I didn't expect that from the inspector. Ah, did you say something, lad? Ah, uh, no, sir, not a word. Good, because I got the time for I'll to chat. I'm gonna murder her to catch and car and car back to London. Come along, Barton, we're leaving. Hmm, I mean, yes, sir. Good day. We are shopping for anything in particular? I apologize, but we're not here to shop today. Oh, I was wondering, have you ever heard of an antique called the Legion Box? Oh dear, her. here you go with the box again, you know, you're the third party to ask about it today. The third? The detectives you saw were just asking about it. And half an hour ago there was a young lady. She interested in knowing whether anyone had been searching for the box around town. Hmm, can you describe the young lady? Oh, she was a beauty, she wasn't local, but she had a face that just seemed familiar. And she, and the officers, well, they said to were her on uh, an official police investigation. I tell you told everyone today, I wish I could help, but this box you're after is, new to, is news to me. When I'm visitors, I forgot who mentioned something about the box, having quite a history behind it. If the thing was over in Folsons, it might be worth checking out the Horizon Museum. Where might we find this museum? It did have got a big burning in the middle of town, uh, a waste in the north. The museum has a wealth of documents celebrating the history of a town. This is actually useful. Thank you for your suggestion. We'll be sure to pay the museum a visit. Before you run off, would you mind if I take a look at the book you got there? Feel free, my good man. Hmm, this is quite unusual for a book of his age. Lovely work, very rare, I'd say. Would you happen to know anything about the symbol on the book's cover? I was just about to comment on how familiar the symbol feels, though. It is not so different than I'm aware of. I must confess, uh, what drew my eye to the book would look old. Uh, old gadgets don't always fascinate me. Its construction is very basic, so you might be able to turn uh, the locks with any old key you stumble upon. As a matter of fact, here, why don't we see if this key does the trick? It's always saying thank you for showing me something interesting. Oh, many thanks, my good man. Gee, it's too bad we didn't find out more about the book in there. It certainly would have been nice, but we'll have to put the book aside for now. It's time to pay a visit to the Hersen Museum. Russell looks decided to visit the Horizon Museum. I've heard all about you, Missy. I know you've been asking around town about the box. Oh, but I just... I'm before you say anything, I don't care who your dear old dad is. No one is above the law. In my eyes, everyone else chasing out the Asian box moves uh, to my suspects list. 
No, you got it all wrong. I'm um, sure if you wouldn't mind. Where's the button? Can you see him in the middle of something here? Uh, yes, about that, sir. The government obviously killed a man to obtain the illusion box. So, so the villain should already have it. If the young lady was the culprit, uh, she had no need to ask around about box, in my opinion, sir. Oh, is that, sir, Barton? <laughs> I don't regret asking you for any unlike analysis of the situation. To tell the story, sir, please go ahead momentary lapse in judgment. So, I'll be, I'll be going just now. Barton, get back here this instant. I'll. <laughs> I'll have you nightstick, I swear. Ka. Phew. Hey, that's the girl we saw back at Session Dropstone. What's her name, Katie? Uh, no, that's not it. I believe you're thinking of Miss Anderson's daughter, Katya. Yes, that's the one. Who the fuck she headed to the place? The same place as this. Hmm. Oh god, this person again. <sighs> Station. No, 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 no. Okay, now there's a couple of mucks I've seen before. Hey, I know you. And I'm of eight, because that's what brought you, me, and this swell tea set of yours together. Now we're all really nice. So if you celebrate with a cup of tea, bring me something nice, would you? You want to make tea for you? That's right, whippers, snappers, mother and grand go of Bella Classic will do the trick. It's so easy to make, even a baby can do it. I really have a magic tea set that is. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, it's some rice leaf, brisk berry, sprinkle, but. Okay, sure. Oasis Leaf, Brisberry, Bella Tart. Oasis Leaf, Brisberry, Fabulous, a small spreads across Session Fast's Session Scarven's face. He seems restored and cheerful. Yeah, not about a cup of tea you make, Shorty. Of course, you wouldn't have put it out of my expert uh, direction, so don't get cocky. You know, this town is filled with thirsty folks. You got a tea set, so the way I see it, the job is what to tell people. And to help everyone with a tea break, good things happen. This, I promise. Of course, Professor, what do you think? Uh, how much good can we really do of one cup of tea? Oh, a fair bit, Luke. A gentleman never underestimates the power of a good cup of hot tea. Uh, well, if you say it like that, I suppose you couldn't hurt to spread the wealth. Sir, a minute, please. Hello, okay, you're the fellow with Inspector Chalmy, yes? There's Martin, sir. I'm going. Constable serving on Inspector Chalmy, sir. If I were to let you know that my looks to bring your child up this way. What? Why? What's up at? Bring the better afternoon to all the lad. My advice to do an all about the north phase and leave the area. I think you're better than Luke. We have to find another path leading up the way. No, sir. I see Brother Chalmy over there. Not for long, Luke. He's likely just getting information about Dr. Freddy's case. He seems trying to figure out the kids don't lie to enforce it. Yeah. I bet the inspector always got a handle on things for once. So let me confirm. This is the... Uh, my witness... Oh, uh, the Legion box. Not all about it now. The man of the photograph... Uh, is the one. I remember that beard anywhere. Uh, well, it's easy to do. Just expect it. He seems to make his way to Come Come on now, Barton. We've mo we're moving on. Hmm. Oh, yes, sir. Right behind you, sir. He is about to be in a very good mood, Luke. Let me see if I can find out what the problem is. Uh, hey there, fellow. Good down, Luke. Are you hurt? I don't think it's a good for a conversation right now. Indeed, let's find another uh, way to time. Passing through here is right of good right now. There was a little bit the museum. The gate shut tight, I don't think they're open right now. I was hoping we'd find some useful information. 
inside, but there's no sense standing around waiting. For the time being, let's get the investigation elsewhere. The Western Luke decided to search the town for more information. Greetings, strangers. Let me guess. You came with your frame of fortune. Actually, I searched for an item called the Legion Box. Does that sound familiar to you? Hmm. Now, not so fantastic name. It's a puzzle for sharing that great name with me. Oh my. A yellow photograph shows three couples in the photo. No man is standing directly above a spouse. Or the three men, two are sisters. Or the three women, two are sisters are sitting next to each other. The other sister's husband is the man without the moustache. No well, pictures. Oh my, okay. I know. And now to test my theory. Got it right as well, sure. Wonderful. Well, the answer to be find the answer to this uh one, just because close reading. You know the older sister's husband has no moustache, so it must be A. No, so the younger sister's husband has no hat. So he's obviously C. With those two choices eliminated, the answer is clear. Only in case you're wondering, the older sister is E, the little sister is D, and the last woman F is married to B. Good job, and good luck finding the whatchamacallit. You know, the thing with the great name. I bet you open it, a genie pulls out and I'm grant your wish or something. Neato. Or a ghost appears from it and just tries to kill you. Do you see the watchtower, Professor? There's something very suspicious about it, isn't there? Tja! Ah! Let's get me silly, Professor. What's making the door for workers? I don't know, but it's thinking coming from right above us. Quickly, Luke, up the stairs. Ah, <sighs> goddamn vampires, get out my property! Well, are you alright, mister? Mm, who goes there? You don't need to tell me, I know a vampire hands when I see him. Whoa, wait a second, what are you talking about? We're just here to. We heard just heard a scream and came to investigate. So what you will, Sonny. What if you don't... We won't do you good news. I see three vampire lies. If you really want me to believe you're not vampires, you'll solve the puzzle. You do it quickly. Okay, sure. In the quiet town, there's a tower that commands the view of the whole town. So you can see the whole town from the tower. Lots of the gates, you should be able to see the top of the tower from anywhere in the town. However, oh, there's one place in the town, show them up, for which you can clearly have no chance in at top. Here goes! <laughs> Looks like I botched that one. See if this works. Oh, right. silly little brain of me. Hmm. Let's see if this works. That was almost too easy. Good thinking, from inside the tower, there's no way to see the top of it. Sure, you may be able to stick your neck out when I look up, but you're able to see the very top of it. Pretty good for a vampire, unless you're not one of those bloodstick handlings after all. 
And that's how it is then, then listen to me, and that's how you basically keep your eye on the castle over yonder. Oh, yeah. It's known as one of the fearsome creatures around. Uh, a real, um, life vampire. A real life vampire, you say? Then let me say it again, buddy. A vampire in the castle. Rumors are surfaced regarding a vampire said to live in the castle at the edge of town. Terrified by such talk, not a foul, not a soul in Folsons, they actually draw uh, near the castle. Could a vampire actually be living up in Harzen Castle? Do the breath feeling. Who even knows what's down this path, anyways? From what I can see, it's just an extremely wild dance. Let's leave it be for now. No! The castle! This is the way that I see new faces. Are you visiting uh, throughout the town? Yes, in a way, but we're not there to sightsee. We're searching for an antique known as the Elysian Box. Have you heard of it? No, did not, not that you first have ever heard of it. I wish I had more. Well, I can't let to, uh, to a great town go away empty handed. Here, is it a keychain? But please take this puzzle of mine as a souvenir of Folsons. <sighs> so I'm gonna create a four. This should do the trick. I'm sure, but I instantly saw that. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Nice work there, fellows. I had to brush it all, but if your lead on this illusion mode let you here, you may be out of luck. You see, many residents who were folk experts get out a few years ago. It's all sorry that uh, with a strange rumor, it's spread through it down like bonfire. If you were in the right place, you may, there may not be no one else to left. Tell me, what was the rumor? So the things about the curse, I'm not uh, entirely clear on it, to be honest. But I was always wondering, where all this purple left in Falls and ended up? Oh, did you see that? I see what? The ghost suit. Uh, one just followed by Ugly Boodying some swear. Oh, damn, I must have missed it. There's a 12 time today is flown by. Cody, there must have been this spot for ghost watching. I've been there for hours. It's all so fascinating. I'm totally captivated. I'm sure it's all very exciting, but you take care to take a break and have a cup of tea. That's okay, great. I scream like a banshee whenever I spot a ghost. And boy, my, my throat's sore. I'm gonna take. I'm sorry, but we're not going to do the tea thing. Hmm? Oh, Mr. Beluga, it's been ages. I do hope you found what you're looking for. I wish. I thought I would track it down, but the boy is about as useful as a broken pocket watch. Oh, don't fret like that. At least wrinkles are the discriminant power of yours, tee What do I say, Mr. B? Would you like to come and for a wine, wine a bit? What's it? Did you see that? Mr. Beluga just went to that thing. I didn't even read that, but sure, whatever. Let's take a look at close. Let's take a closer look, shall we? I'm not a little tall, dark, and handsome. Can I come in and get your show tonight? How about it, but we're in the middle of. Oh, are you getting shy of me? Don't worry, hot stuff. I don't bite. <laughs> oh, I know you're a little friend there, aren't you, a precious boy? I uh, mean, um. So it's James Stubbuck, but I couldn't help but notice Mr. Blue entering your cabaret. Oh, are you friends with Mr. B? Something like that, yes. Uh, tell me, does Mr. Blue visit visitor often? Mr. Blue is surely a patron of uh, the arts, but that's for sure, I can't say much more. Oh, but you're a handsome devil, mister. So charming, so dapper, and such a gentleman. Show me you got the brains to match his looks. And maybe I'll uh, let you few fact. Maybe I'll let a few facts slip. Puzzle 70 The Jeweled Necklace. 
I have this old necklace, but the thing is, it's not really my taste anymore. So let's sell it. But the one I was getting at a price the other day, I realized something weird. Each turn is worth a amount. Uh, if I break the necklace in three places, the, the three gems stand. Oh, that was. Um. Let's say we cut it here. I presume we have to cut it here then as well. Uh, 1600, 11, that's 13. 513 plus 8. Uh, seconds. Two hours and two hours, 500. Six plus six is twelve. Fifteen thousand five hundred. Ah, uh, that doesn't get the right amount down. One hundred seven hundred plus nine hundred, so that's sixteen. So means you get 20... That means you get 28 though. Okay, this is two, two, zero, zero. There's already too much. Could ever make this two, nine, zero, zero. Sixteen, no, two thousand. This, this will be two thousand three hundred. Two thousand five hundred. Okay, that's two one two 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 seven. Uh 
17. No, must be hair down. We don't care about this one. Okay, this is 2,500 right now. Actually, no, it isn't. 2,600. This is 2,600. This should and that's the answer. Wonderful. That's right, each chunk uh, of war is exactly 2600. That's a nice chunk of change. Handsome and smart. You're some uh, catch, aren't you? Consider me smitten. Yes, he's definitely here looking for something, but I can't say I know what or know what. This is really going on badly because he's kind of crow whenever I see him now. See, that's the big shank again. That's a shank again. Jesus. We're gonna put up the shack. Mm hmm? If we look puzzled along the course of our journey, we know where we can go to. I know, don't we, Luke? Gully, you do make a sure or not. Makes me tired just watching you. Oh, her. Why don't you rest a spell with the special I got there? Flower bed fun. Huh? The two for. Okay, there are four circular flower beds, each of radius 10 feet. Hmm. How should I notice? Do the trick. I honestly Wonderful. just can't do things like that. Ah. Okay, now I, I get it now. Now the red section has an area of 400 square me feet. If you quarter the space between the flower beds and fit a piece into the circular shown in the diagram, you can. Don't look at square. Once you do, the side of the square will have a small or well, the same length as the diameter of the single flower bed, 20 feet. Square this number to get to the area and find your answer. Golly, you ran through that puzzle so fast you never had spin. Uh, you're one of those people who does uh, having like a uh, slick like, huh? I get tired just thinking about it. Where the shop seems interesting. This place where you might. Oh no. Yeah, but I can't let you win like that. We got a dress code, see? Enter the hat from you. Alright, so it's if we can enter, we give you my hat.
Nou, dan vind ik best voor dat haat. Het feest wel. Je moest uh, nou find another haat to handle from the panache on below. That you're looking for will be the same uh, shape and size as the one you're in the world of Anon. I found it. Consider this puzzle solved. A true gentleman leaves no puzzle unsolved. Sneaky, good job spotting that hidden hat. Uh, een oude professor has a hat to give to Felix. Of course, another puzzle, but uh, apparently not. Ah, here you go. I have worked with that hat. Huh? But I'm sorry, I don't think that's quite what he meant. Maybe maybe I'm not taking my head off, Luke. Let's go, Luke. I'm just looking forward to, uh, to stopping him for a snack. The gentleman never takes over the hat, Luke. And that's all I have to say about it. This is too deep for me. We're going to get an annoying puzzle in here. Have a look at these photos of town, Luke. Whoever uh, took them clearly has a fine eye for detail. If you look closer, you can see uh, the pictures are chronically out of order. Then you can figure out where each picture belongs. Let's go in photos. This one I probably remember. Yeah, that's the one that I remember. Fuck. Well, guys, I created the wall of those photos studio. Each other. Uh, the next time, yeah. Um. A must have been lost. It must have been B was just before it. C D A B Just leave it to me. Nope. Oops, that was um, right. C D B A. Sorry. A has a little thing repair it. Piece of cake. With something at least. Good eye. Doctor, there's CDBA. In C, the street light has yet to be installed, but indeed the light has been built. In B, there's a new boning in the background. Um, and since window is broken, finally in A, the book of windows, uh, seen a beer has been patched up. Uh, and some of the lights in the restaurant sign have blurred out. What's more, the door to the photo studio has been painted in a different color. There we are. In these photographs, sir, any indication, falls is quite a rich and lengthy history. How neat, we've run over these pictures, I bet you could see exactly how the town developed. Town developed. You bring up an interesting point, Luke, but if these photos are not old, why do they look so new? Now the message, I suppose they do look new. Normally, with shots this old, the image is a bit more deteriorated. What methods the studio used to keep this picture so immaculate? 
We actually have someone for the camera now again. Finally, uh, either is pretty slow going on. Indeed, perhaps early choice really is to wait for a Hersa Museum to open. If that's the case, maybe we should visit the museum. You never know, it might have opened up while you were away. Well, Alright, you got a good point. I hope the place proves more so just than it did last time. Press on the side to pay one more visit to the Hersa Museum. Let's see if we can actually do something with the camera. Both those pick, both those um, parts don't make sense to me. So, my this photo leaks something new for age. How do you manage that? So, sir, sure, my not uh, well, a bit of a trade secret. Sure. Look at that, the gates are supposed to be open now. Now we can finally go inside. Oh my. Mm, Luke, do you hear that? It's not like the conductor and Mr. Blue are arguing again. Nothing? You don't even have so much as a lead on it? I thought I told you to find it and find it fast. Uncle, you gotta cut me some slack. It's no piece of cake sneaking around with a pig on my tail. But the Professor dude from London has been out playing Detective 2. I give a little purple takes it out of a guy, and you know what I'm saying. My video killed me from all this running around, how about you let me take a break? Besides, if I get caught sneaking around like this... You always worry about Samuel. Quit your whining and get back to the task at hand. What if I in a box? It's better... I better not hear the word break coming out from your mouth. Of course, what's really good really let him have it? Do you think he opened up the gate too? I'm not sure, there appears that... While well, the gate is open, the museum is still, it's always so closed. Let's put this discussion aside, uh, for a moment. Tell me, Luke, do you recognize the similar defeat? The book? They were worn down over the years, but none is, uh, one I've seen before. Sure, it looks like some of the book we found laying out in the street. That it does, but I'm sure that I've seen it some other way. There's another location too, but what was it? Oh yeah, now I got it. What is it, Professor? We'll look at it in at once. I need to see him in the photo he's acquired from the crime scene. But it's not so big, how are we going to track him down? Well, it's quite late, he may have returned to the hotel for the night, what do you think? We're, best, we're probably right. Quick, let's go back to the hotel. Professor and Luke decided to return to the hotel. Ah, tell me. Inspector, there's something I need to ask you. Can you a moment? Ah, Leighton, I see you be busy. I don't think you've managed to solve 50 pistols so soon. Well, we have 53, even. You've been very busy sniffing around town for clues. Tell me, has your church yielded any genuinely useful fact yet? Perhaps, would you want to show me the photo you recorded from the doctor's apartment? Oh, I am to understand there is a clue to be found in this photo. And most of you have solved puzzles so far, so I can tell you when. You're serious about this investigation. The matter of is still in this case, so I think... I think you can help. I might as well show you the thing. What the devil? Is there any matter, sir? There's a blast at all in my pocket. Oh no. I'm just cutting those pieces about without even noticing. This is a low point in my career. It seems that the remains of the photo is just the one scrap. It's going to go up on everything in the phone again, huh? 
That is say, the bees were still on our bigot when we entered Folsons. I'm sure not much. Inspector, do you recall the path you took other than this past couple of hours? Bits of it, yes, let's see. Oh god. You said the inspector was to find the path he took to town. Well, only one turn I made, but it didn't uh, fail on it. I know I passed in front of Hatch Shop. Oh. It's actually with a cafe on it. Okay. It takes two corners here. Yeah? And he goes this should do the trick pass to shop okay well I suppose that's one possibility eliminated That can't have been it, though. Okay, well, only one turn... On one turn, I may... Should do the trick. Nope. Ah, uh, well, I suppose you can't win them all. This should do the trick. Okay, why is it this? Ha! Huh, wonderful! Now, you may have figured out the inspector's path to town, but a search of these photo scraps is just, a, is just beginning. And then, after leaving the northeast corner of town, I came straight back to the hotel. Let's be another information to get started, thank you. Come on, let's see if we can find recovery at the photo by tracing the inspector's footsteps. What's up with the photo? Photo processor. I'm not sure this photo comes out, but uh, everything is ever is still in box. Ten or more, I'm sold. After all, you're interested in our fills. Let's read the northeast corner. You can get through the little path where the boat was sitting. Yes, uh yes, let's. I'll lead the way. Only two pulls actually on that damn. Professor Luke decided to investigate the northeast corner of town. Sure.
Chapter 5 Shadows on the Street Corner. Ooh. The building is blocking a path to Norway's corner. Hmm, how to get through? I've the bill seems to have changed time since we last met him. Looks like he's really hungry, but I think he let us pass or bring him a snack. Well, it seems we're closer, closer beneath the watchtower. I'm sure we can find a suitable snack for a friend there. Let's go there. Oh god, puzzle. Ree! Hello, Jens, how can I help you today? We're in desperate need of food for a hungry dog. Do you have anything that fits the bill? Well, it's the most interesting request I've heard all day. I don't have any kibble or the like, but it's not a very shank. I don't make Grover sit in my back. This should be nicely. Would you mind parting with it? Not really, but I hope your dog likes garlic. I'm sure it won't be a problem. Good, good. Now I won't change charge you for it, but you won't much mind someone disposing of got here. I've been chewing over for days and I'm starting to lose sleep. Garlic is a wonderful season when used to moderation. How many cocks do we have? They said two, right? Just leave it to me. Why? That's obscure. Cake. Not going to lie. Ah, sweet loop. Each of the three holes in the container is connected to the garlic, so there's no real way to seal out the containers using the two corks. We know the container smell. Our friend has no clue, had no choice but to plug up his nostrils. Hopefully, he had good sense to stay inside. Ah, uh, no one could see him like that. You gotta be a real garlic lover, uh, like me to solve that one. Hey, you rock this blue shank. It says all yours. So 
so we won't stop believe sorry for some reason i just do that every time Here's a chance, Luke. Toss on the beef shank. I'm already doing it. Here it goes. Yay! A big little uh, offering did the trick. Woof, woof. I don't think this pub is going to be any snarling anytime soon. We can finally explore the rest of the town now. North East Alley, sure. Silver, sir, could it be a piece of the photograph? I'd say so. Sure, right, Luke. I believe you'll be trunk for safekeeping. <laughs> 